Welcome friends and colleagues. Uh, I'm glad you're on Muni Meter Health, your uh, source of learning about human heart and cardiology. We are our, ma our major forte is to improve the medical education, patient education, to improve the clinical outcomes. Very briefly today, we're going to be talking about what is a pacemaker. Well, a pacemaker is a device which is electronically uh, offering an impulse into the right bottom chamber of your heart when your heart rate, inherent heart rate, tends to run slow. So it is basically a pacing alternative where an electrical stimulus is offered to the right side of the heart. Now let's see how it looks like when we actually show you the uh, schematic. Uh, assuming that this is your right side of your heart where there is a top chamber and the bottom chamber. We'll draw the left side as well because we know the heart has four chambers. Okay, These are your valves and this is your tricuspid valve. This is your mitral valve. Now the wire is a very fine structure if you will and that wire is inserted through the vein right below your right clavicle if you feel it, preferably on the right side. So now the wire passes down like this uh, into the drops into the right atrium, this being your right atrium. It traverses through these tricuspid valves, these are your tricuspid valves, and then goes along like the right near the right ventricle wall and lodges right here. This is where it lodges. So this is your right ventricle. It has a it has a capability of stimulating from this end. And this is the electrical impulse that's generated each time the heart rate, say if it is set at 60 or less, automatically it'll fire. So what happens is an electrical stimulus stimulates the right ventricle, this being the right ventricle, and eventually the entire heart. And this way you can maintain a decent heart rate in order to have a compatibility to your life. Because we know we, we must have a heart rate of 60 to 80 per minute in order to be compatible with life. So anything, so, uh, so uh, normally a pacing wire is indicated whenever somebody has bradycardia or a heart rate of less than 60 or somebody has heart blocks. We call them heart blocks. Why? Because I'll show you, we have an inherent way of actually conducting within our heart an electrical stimulus because ultimately, you know, the heart contracts and relaxes. And how does it do it? It does it by its own electrical impulse. We have our own electrical wire, which is traversing from the SA node, which is here, to the AV node, which is here and down into the bundle of his and then into these various branches until the entire heart is actually stimulated. So the heart gets stimulated automatically 60 to 80 times or when we exercise goes even up to 120, 150. So it, this, is, uh, this is a miracle of uh, the electrical stimuli that we all carry in our hearts that we can actually stimulate our heart. But people who do not have that capability or they have lost the capability because of a disease, say sometimes there's a block here. If there's a block here for instance that could be an issue or a block here that could be an issue so these are called heart blocks sometimes it's because of a heart attack so there are various conditions which we can enumerate and of course I've discussed that in other videos but just so that you know a pacemaker wire is basically an electronic wire which is placed uh, under local anesthesia while the patient is awake and it requires the hospitalization maybe for a day or two and the next day you're back at home and then and your usual activity by within a couple of weeks you're not allowed to lift uh, anything heavy or remove you move your right arm for uh, with uh, heavy strenuous activity etc etc those precautions will be told to you but just so that you know yeah, millions and millions of pacemakers have been inserted the battery is somewhere at this end and the battery has its own uh, life as uh, like any other battery and the more you use it of course the faster it'll uh, wear off but it can be replaced and there will be uh, there'll be areas where uh, your cardiologist will be able to uh, analyze that normally after the pacemaker wire you require a follow-up a couple of times um, in, during the next few weeks and following that every three to four months you should be able to see a cardiologist for your medications and adjustments etc etc other than that uh, the pacemaker evaluation is done twice a year and that could be done even on a telephone these days now remotely even you don't even have to come to the doctor's clinic or office and actually it could be you just dial a number and automatically it could be done okay so just a quick uh, spiel on pacemaker what is a pacemaker it's an electronic device once again that's placed into the right ventricle or the right bottom chamber of your heart uh, which offers a stimulus should your heart rate decides to go less than 60 at any time or so obviously the symptoms are dizziness uh, chest pain sometimes palpitations or even 
passing out spell like uh, uh, syncope as we call it those are the symptoms which are related to the heart rate being less than 60 or less than 50 at times and then a pacemaker wire your cardiologist will suggest okay so hope you enjoyed this discussion so keep sharing and uh, until then uh, so long and see you on Munimeter Health. Bye.